Hey guys, Les here. So, this is just gonna be a quick video on something that I've discovered, a useful trick, maybe, I don't know, maybe everybody knows about this already. I haven't really seen it done before anywhere I go. So, pallets, they're extremely useful, obviously. Uh, you get a forklift, if you have one, we don't, not yet. Uh, or you just put stuff on it, right? This has all been sort of hand bombed on no problem a lot of this is at hand height so i can grab it but i found a secondary use for these pallets and that's to they you're able to neatly tuck away items so here uh, i'll show you a bit closer these are all poles for the cocktail tables and i just took i tuck away some of this wood um some specialty items like a pry bar, special pry bar here, dowels, uh, more bases for the cocktail tables, uh, uh, parts for the pop-up tents, legs for the pop-up tents. And essentially, as you can see, I'm starting to really incorporate the pallets for the secondary use. And it's a great use for space. I even have my some brooms here, some crowbars, and yeah, and this is really working out well to conserve space, to keep things organized. Before, I, I really had a problem with this stuff, and now it's, it's kind of sort of neatly tucked away. So I found a great secondary use for pallets. Uh, and that's it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. It's a short video. Uh, here, I'll show you. I have, I'm even starting to, I have some more here. So these are all pallets, obviously. And I'm starting to tuck away some poly wrap pieces of wood in there. Um, here there are some uh, slippery when wet signs, uh, a level uh, tripod, some sign stands, metal sign sticking in the ground stands. So I'm starting to do that a lot. Hey, see I can even, this is kind of just sitting here. I can even, uh, put this in here there you go so I'm starting that a lot I just started that that like a couple weeks ago and it's so far been working fantastically I'm starting to think of actually incorporating that into my transport vehicles uh, and then I, I tried that with these poles but then ended up not using this racking because it doesn't fit very well the other around because I was gonna have this uh, these pallets sort of the other way around so these things are exposed and just have all those these pipes here for the marquee tents going through these uh, pallets. I've done that in the uh, in the trailer and worked out pretty cool. I was going to just have it here, which is by the exit door there. So we can just go quickly and uh, and load the, the trailers. But anyways, I just started doing it like this because uh, this was in the way the other way around. Plus the pallets didn't really sit on this actual pallet racking very well uh, if they were turned 90 degrees. Hopefully that makes sense. But essentially I started to incorporate different ways to sort of conserve space. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've done that before. And as this, this idea sort of expands, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you that in the future and see what's come of it essentially. Guys, take it easy. Let's get some business done. We'll see you later. Have a good weekend.